Hey, this is Magnar, and welcome back to my modding tutorial series for Rome 2 Total War. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to uh, mod the different Imperium levels. That's ones where you expand and then you kind of are allowed to get more, uh, more armies. You increase the army cap, the navy cap, agent caps. Uh, it's also linked to uh, effect bundles as well as... There's one more thing. Ah, we'll get into the DBs and it'll be there. So the way this is all done is in the fame levels table. So if we go into PFM, data Rome 2 pack, uh, and we go down to the fame levels, uh, where is it? Fame levels tables. And here we go. So we've got the edicts, the, the province edicts caps. Uh, here, of course, you have the Imperium level, the different campaigns. And in this column here, it says tooltip goal, which is not correct. This is actually the effect bundle, which is assigned to that uh, Imperium level. It is not possible to change the effects of Imperium on different cultures. Uh, it's just uh, over the entire uh, campaign for, assigned to all cultures based on their Imperium level. And here at the top here, you can see the different types of things you can do. So. Uh, you can see here, this is how much Imperium, how much fame is required to actually reach the cap. So obviously starting at zero, you get to the first Imperium level. Uh, and then depending on your uh, campaign, there's different Imperium levels for reaching the first level above that. And then you have your different uh, army caps. Then these are your, these two and champion, dignitary, and where's the spy? And the spy one over here. So you get your three types of agents they all have their caps assigned there your naval cap here and then the player is a little different to the ai so the ai can be separated from the player with regards to uh, how quickly they can increase in imperium level uh, so generally the player takes a little longer to get to the get to that level than uh, the ai would well in vanilla anyway you can mod that of course if you want uh, by going in here we'll do a little pack after this to just mod some aspects of it uh, then we have, yep, as I said before, the edict cap uh, here. So that's your provincial edicts, food and bread and food, or whatever it is, or whatever they are that you want to you're using. Uh, you can limit how many the faction can use. And then we have some text here, uh, the tooltip, which would be linked uh, to the uh, localization file. So let's go check out that right now. Uh, so where is that data? So the localization files, uh, this one here probably. Okay, let's go to text, DB, and something about fame is what we're looking for. E, fame, nope, so there's no fame. Okay, so there is no fame table, which is the first place you look you look for the same name or similar name table as the similar named dot uh, lock file here, but that doesn't exist. So the place where we actually will find it uh, is in the campaign uh, localized strings. Now we want to find the tooltip will be imperial. For, an example would be imperial underscore tooltip zero one. And so we can just sort here by the tags to find it. And we come down and here we go campaign localized string string imperium tooltip 01 and there we find all the different texts assigned to the different imperium levels that we have in this table okay so now let's go create a, a little mod which where we can mod just parts of it so we'll fragment the table uh, let's just go new here Ooh, wrong one wrong button okay new now let's go add from pack because we want to get that all created for us automatically. Set data. Scroll down to fame levels and right click that. OK. And now we also want to add, uh, well, we won't change the text. I mean, you can change the text pretty easily. Actually, no, let's, let's change the text as well. So let's go add from pack locally in Rome 2 
and it was in campaigns, uh, localized string. So double click on that. When you're adding a file, you're doubly clicking. When you're adding a folder, you right click it. Okay, the directories are all created for us. That's why we do it from pack. So let's save that uh, in our, wherever you're working. So I'm doing it in my, oh, wrong tutorial folder. Modding tutorial. Do it in here. Let's call it uh, fame. Levels, yeah. Oh, let's just call it Imperium, actually. Okay. Now, first thing, I'm going to get in there and fragment these tables before I start working on them. And same with the text file uh, table. I'm going to create a, a new text. Uh, so we're going to call it, you can see, we just need to have here the... Uh, campaign localized strings string underscore everything after that we can change to whatever we're making it uh, and what we're going to edit here is only let's sort it by campaign type uh, by clicking on the just clicking here you can sort and we're just going to take the main campaign so we'll delete everything else okay there we go let's save that and we'll make, uh, let's say, increase the starting army cap to three, increase the, uh, what else can we increase? Let's start, increase fleet cap to two, edict cap, we'll put it to one, okay. And we'll even change the tooltip here. We'll change the tooltip to say, mag imperium tool. one so I'm going to copy that now and I'm going to paste it into here after this underscore you can right click there and paste and there we go and we're going to say this is a new tooltip yay we can delete everything else we don't really need it okay let's save it again and lastly uh, these Imperium these Imperium levels are linked to effect bundles. Uh, so we could probably even, that's all uh, set out in the effect bundles to effect junction table. So let's jump in there as well. Uh, we'll create a new effect bundle. So that's all in data run two. So we're gonna create our own custom effect bundle here, uh, assign some effects to it. So let's go down. To do that, we'll need the effect bundles table and the effect bundles to effect junctions. We're not going to create any new um, effects like we did in the, the last uh, tutorial. We're just going to add vanilla ones. But firstly, we, of course, we can uh, fragment all those tables as well. And save. OK, so. We've got our new effect bundle we want to have. So let's call it Mag Imperium 1. I'm just going to put the first one. I'm not going to bother with the others. Okay, let's jump in here. Okay, so the effect bundle is what I've typed in there. So I've copied that. So the effect bundle key is here. Uh, I'm not going to screw around with all these different icons and such that are in here. But, uh, let's just delete all that. Okay, now let's put it in here. Let's make it so that our effect bundle, it will increase income by 500. Uh, I'm just copying essentially over the uh, Britannic uh, faction traits in vanilla. So that it should all pretty much work as is here. So there will be uh, some cultural things and also this bonus income, which will be hidden income for that very first Imperium level. Let's delete everything else. So you, so you clicked here and you control shift down uh, and that'll delete everything. Okay, so we'll save that. And now we have a new effect bundle. Uh, we probably need to add in the actual text. So this description here doesn't actually show. The description will be read from the localization file. So we'll grab that also from the uh, local Ooh. 
from here and this will be in the effect bundles dot lock is what we're where I'm expecting it to be let's see what we find there it is effect bundles let's add that now the effect bundle here is uh, localized okay so I'll copy the key and we'll come in here localize effect bundles localized description row okay so after the uh, underscore here so we want this part to so it's assigned properly and we'll just paste that in this is an effect bundle text okay okay so there's another one here uh, we so with the effect bundles we have two types of text we have the, uh, the one we just did oh, where do we put it okay, actually let me jump out of there and go back in I have no idea where I just put that let's do it again okay description paste and now it's this is an X uh, effect bundle description good now because we need something else here I'm just gonna go down like this so I can um, take the last effect tile oh here they are let's just grab one of these Effect bundle, tile, title. Magnas. Uh, effect bundle, title. Yeah, whatever. Okay, so the rest can be deleted. So let's control shift down and that's what we get. Save it. Oh, we have to uh, fragment it as well we can save it and we have a little pack we can load up which we'll do now and uh, check it all out in game okay here we are in game now we have to pick the grand campaign because that's the only one we actually modded uh, the other ones will have all vanilla and we're gonna pick uh, let's pick someone small just to ensure that we are on the uh, Imperium level zero pick someone big we may have enough uh, provinces or some regions to automatically go up to the next Imperium level and we won't be able to see uh, if it's actually worked so I think maybe Carthage may start at level one I'm not sure exactly okay here we are in game and uh, we go into uh, our factions window get that to pop up and we can check out our Imperium level I believe it's in politics, perhaps. No, summary. Okay, so here we can see we got our armies at three and our fleets at two, as opposed to two and one, as we had before. And here we can see the Imperium level is now changed to uh, Magnus Effect Bundle Title, and we go in. This is an Effect Bundle description, and that's where it, how it all works. And you can see the uh, effects there that we've added. The income is clearly not there because that was a hidden uh, effect. But looking at our income, you'll see that it is actually uh, taking effect. It's just not displayed. And that's all really there is to know about uh, modding fame levels and all that kind of stuff. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.